The sailors aboard USS Harry S. Truman teamed up with the Make-A-Wish Foundation to give a 16-year-old cancer survivor a glimpse of what it would be like to be a Navy pilot and make his wish come true. I had Ewing sarcoma diagnosed August 1st, 2014, and my Make-A-Wish trip was to come on an aircraft carrier. Since fourth or fifth grade, I've wanted to be a naval aviator. We live within 20 miles of Annapolis, and so you have the Naval Academy there, and everyone's a Navy fan. This is the furthest away from home I've ever been in memory. It's, and it's, I don't quite know what I expected when they told me I'd actually get to go in the aircraft carrier. I guess I expected to come watch some people do stuff, go up on the bridge, look out at everything. But it's been more than that. It's been interactive. First of all, just landing on the ship, just trapping, was a big experience, better than any roller coaster. And then after that, we got to stay on the flight deck for a little bit. And when planes go overhead, you know they're loud, but you don't know just how loud they are until one lands right next to you. And then we got to go up to the flag bridge and I don't know if I should say this out loud. I got to sit in the admiral seat. Yeah, the admiral's not going to watch this, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> After that, we got to visit all the different divisions. You're like a big family. It's really amazing. Everyone's just so nice. Thanks for support. I've always looked up to people in the military. Y'all stay in the Navy long enough and you'll see me on the flight deck. Petty Officer Galen Hogan Barton, USS Harry S. Truman.